Hey, what's up everybody? Hungry Hussy here. I appreciate you stopping in. Today, I got a really good treat for you. That's right, you. We're gonna make some sausage bread. You're gonna probably thinking, Hussy, what is sausage bread? Well, I'm about to show you. It's gonna be some really good groceries. All right, for this sausage bread, this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna take a loaf of French bread, or this is actually called Italian bread. I don't know what the difference is between Italian and French, but if you know the difference, let me know down below. And I am going to try my best to divide this into two equal pieces and I have failed miserably. But just split those down to half as best as you can. And right after this, make sure you pre-warm your Blackstone. We're gonna put this on a low setting after we light it. Y'all check this out. This is a brand new Blackstone. This is a Lowe's only edition culinary. It's a 36 inch. It's got an optional side table, which I'm sure you guys have seen already. Pretty cool. I'm doing uh, everything basically right here on this side table. All right, so I'm gonna take each half. I'm just gonna take some of this bread and remove it. Just kind of set it to the side. You can use this as croutons, you can use it as stuffing, you can use it whatever, or you can feed it to Maggie Dog. All right, now that we got some of this middle removed, now we're gonna take plentiful, I mean plentiful amounts of low moisture mozzarella cheese, and we're gonna stuff into each side of this bread. And I mean, be literal guys, come on now. Once you get a pretty good amount on each side, just kind of press it in a little bit, just to kind of pack it in there because you want it to stay put because we're about to give this thing a sausage blanket. Now I'm taking some sweet Italian sausage. Again, up to your liking. You want to do hot sausage, do hot sausage. You could do breakfast sausage here. I think that'd be great also. And I'm just going to stuff each side with <laughs> taking about a, almost a pound of sausage per, not quite. So maybe about three quarters of a pound of sausage per side of bread. And we're just gonna layer that in and pat it down just to make sure it's nice and stuffed because this thing's about to get some love from the old Blackstone. Hey, I appreciate you watching thus far. Hey, if you don't mind, hit that like button and also leave me a comment. I'd really love to interact with you. And if you really, really like it, hit that subscribe button. Hey, thanks so far. Once your Blackstone is up to about 330 to 350 range, that's about where you want this at because you wanna cook this sausage nice, low and slow. We laid down a little bit of avocado oil already on the griddle top. And we're just gonna come in here. Oh, and by the way, this is the very first cook on this brand new griddle. I have not cooked on this thing yet. Now we take each half and we wanna lay those on the black stone, slightly old. And again, you wanna keep your temperatures pretty low, 350-ish. And we're gonna cook those really until the sausage is cooked through. So it's been about three minutes. Let's take a look and see what these bad boys look like. Oh man. Look at that crust that it's already formed. Man alive. At this point, we wanna tip our sausage bread. We wanna make sure we don't get anybody sick. So we're just gonna measure kind of internally of this sausage. It is kind of thick, so we wanna make sure we cook it all the way through. And yeah, so just as I suspected, uh, this is gonna need a little bit longer. So we're gonna cook it on this outside side to help speed getting the sausage more done. I'm just gonna dome this with the dome. Uh, you can also do this with the cover if you like but the dome just helps the convection stay a little tighter in and around the sausage bread. All right, we're just gonna take the dome off, flip these over, let them cook for maybe another two to three minutes on this side. This should be the last leg of our sausage bread. Let's take a look. The smell, the smell under here is amazing, y'all. Old mozzarella's trying to leak out on us. Get back in there, boy. All right, let's give her a temp. 154, okay. I think we might be all right. Here we go. We are good to go. Let's get these things off. All right, now it's time to give us a cut. It's time to give us a try. Good night in the morning, boys and girls. Look at that cheese. Dang it, boy, look at that cheese pull. Boy, that's something amazing right there. All right, now I'm just gonna come in here, little individual slices. That way the Andersons are like, you know, I like how individualized Hussey is. Now, this is optional. This is this little marinara sauce, okay? little Rayo's marinara sauce. Can't go wrong with Rayo's. I feel like me and Rayo, I feel like we could be tight. I mean, I really do. Now, for the fun part of the job, it's time to give this bad boy a try. Actually, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do the marinara first. Not gonna do it. Just gonna give it a try like this. Y'all, look at that. Hey, pretty girl. Hmm. Man. All right, let's give it a try. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Good. Nine in the morning. That's some good groceries right there. 
Son. That is fire. Sheesh. I have to take an elbow, boy. Woo. Dip it in a little bit of this marinara. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Son. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all, this is some kind of good groceries. This would be a great appetizer. This would be a great meal, couple it with a little salad or something like that. Whew. Good groceries all around. Hey, I appreciate you staying with me. If you stuck around so far, consider giving me a subscribe. I'd love to see you around. And hey, check out this video right here. I promise you, it'll up your griddle game.